So friends, so today we gonna discuss this problem from weekly contest lead code 188 problem number 1441 build an array with stack operations. So the problem statement is very simple. So you are given a target array and an integer m. In each iteration, you will read a number from 1, 2, 3 to till n, and you have to build the target array under the following condition. So mm -hmm. For, like push means read a new element from the beginning of the list pop means delete the last element of the array if the target array is already built stop reading more elements this is important if the target element like array is already built stop reading more elements so you are guaranteed that the target array is strictly increasing okay this is also important uh, read the operations to build the target array so the thing is uh, you have a list uh, let's say you have a list from for the first example 1 2 3 because it is from the list is from 1 till n and here n is equal to 3 and then the target is 1 and 3 the target array is 1 and 3 so what will be the output so just assume like you have a stack and you want this uh, in our final stack value and you have this stream of numbers coming so if 1 comes, you will push 1 into the stack. So you will first do push operation. Now 2 will come. But because 2 will come, you will first do push. But in the target, you don't want 2. So what will you do? You will pop this out. And you will do a pop operation. And then 3 will come. You will do a push operation of 3. Because, and you will not remove it from the stack and that's it so the answer is push push fork push 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 fork push okay so the thing is uh, what you, you can do is you can maintain one pointer at the beginning of this stream and one pointer at the beginning of this stream if i and j are same which means like the number which is coming from the stream is also there in the target array what you will you do is you just push but if then you move to this, this because 2 is not in the target it, which means we first push it and then pop it out so first push and pop it out and then you move at this because both are same so just push okay but the case also here will be if the target is only 1 2 and the stream is still 4 what you will do is just push and push. Don't do again push pop push pop because you don't require all the four numbers. You can stop after this point. So what you can actually do is if we go out of bound of this target array, you can just stop reading our input stream. Okay. So now directly I can write the code and it will be more helpful to you. So make a vector for string to store the answer. And then maintain one pointer j j is the pointer which is at here then we'll do a for loop which is an input stream it will be from i equal to 1 till i equal to n and what will we do we will first check if our j is out of bound which is target dot size we will what we'll do we will just break out of this stream else what will we do is if the target value is equal to i which means because the stream of input is i and our target value is this target array if this is same what will we do answer dot push back push and we will increment j because we have matched i and j now because both of the numbers are matched we have to increase our j but if i and j are not matched we will only increase i not j because i will move through our stream and if the number is not there such that if i now move to 2 and j is 3 so they are not same it means 2 is pushed and then popped out then i again move to 3 it means yeah I should be there in the uh, like the array.
okay else what will we do is answer dot push back we'll, we'll do first push answer dot push back then we'll do a pop and then after that we'll just return this answer vector let's run this code first Okay, now submit this. So as you can see, it's accepted. 